My name is Jeremy Whalen, and I'm a technology teacher at Northampton High School in Northampton, Massachusetts. As a technology teacher, I use a variety of technologies in the classroom. What I'm really looking at is using technology for three main components of education. The first one is comprehension, the second is technical execution, and the third is analysis. And the first, that comprehension, what I'm doing is I'm making videos using a digital media tool called Educanon, which is an interactive way to look at videos. Uh, students watch a video and I can add answer questions for them to answer uh, to make sure that they're watching those videos and make sure that they're covering all the technical details that I want them to be covering. Uh, next is uh, what we look at for the technical execution and that's I really use Canon digital SLRs for the media production both in video and videography. Students have a chance to get interchangeable lenses, learn about manual exposure, get their hands on uh, in a tactile approach to uh, projects. The third thing I like to do is the analysis and I use, I, I heavily rely on Google Docs to do uh, the analysis. What I'll have is after a student or a team of students has completed a video project or a photography project, I'll have them peer review and, and fill out a Google form on the strengths and uh, some of the uh, critiques of their students work and then we'll take a look at the summary of responses and uh, look for ways to improve on our next project. Another thing that I like to do is inspire students by getting newer technologies into the room. One of the things I've had a real uh, huge success with is uh, 3D printing. 3D printing, we do a lot of 3D modeling with SketchUp Pro and also uh, Tinkercad, which are, we, we have free licenses for, for SketchUp Pro, and Tinkercad is a free program, and they can see those 3D models and, and actually get into a tangible with the 3D printing. Um, it is fascinating watching students, uh, they, they're mesmerized by the technology. So these are just a few of the examples that I use personally in the classroom, and I hope that this inspires you to go out and use some of these technologies for yourself in your own educational pursuits. Thank you.